For thousands of years, Jordanians have embraced the romance of the desert. Today, the journey from the modern-day Red Sea resort of Aqaba to some of the world's most famous tourist attractions is but a few hours by road. Nestling out of sight in the rocky Shara Mountains is Petra, one of the archaeological wonders of the world. Visitors are reminded of Petra's importance to the country and, of course, to the film industry. From here on, there's a choice of how you get to the ancient monuments. Of course, you can go by foot. That'll take you about 20 minutes or so. Or you can enjoy a more traditional and leisurely ride on an Arabic horse. Apart from perhaps making the surface a little less bumpy, the narrow passage to the treasury known as the Sikh has changed little over time. When the majestic facade of the red sandstone treasury looms into view, it's easy to understand why people come from all over the world to marvel at Jordan's pride and joy. Not to mention the local greeting that awaits. There's little doubt that the treasury, otherwise known as the Al-Khazna, was built to make a lasting impression. Just how the Nabataeans carved this incredible facade into the rock face remains a source of amazement, even mystery. It's 30 metres wide and 43 metres high. They actually started the work at the top and it took about 100 years to complete this wonderful monument. That was just over 2,000 years ago, when the Nabataeans exerted considerable cultural influence. Petra, however, fell into ruin in the 14th century and was only rediscovered in 1812. Since then, archaeologists have been unravelling the mysteries of this historic treasure. So what about the name al -Kazna? That would suggest that this place was used to conceal a wealth of treasures. In fact, it was built as a giant tomb for an unknown king. Tourists line up in their hundreds every day to take home their own special mementos. When you come to Petra, it's not surprising that this place proved an inspiration to the makers of the Hollywood blockbuster film Indiana Jones. One thing's for sure, this is one of the most instantly recognisable tourist attractions in Jordan. Today, Petra is known as the Red Rose City. As well as being the jewel in the crown of Jordan's tourist attractions, it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So don't forget to bring your camera. Further along from the treasury, Petra is a maze of excavations, tombs and caves, which form part of the 800 or so monuments that survive to this day. A vast classical theatre is another important feature. Once it would have enjoyed capacity crowds of around 7,000. Some of the features here have been renovated in recent times. <laughs> 